Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This time I have a new device that I just recently bought from the IKEA and it is a um, LED light from uh, the name is Janso and um, well I use it as a uh, bedside lamp but um, I found this device way too bright so I'm gonna hook this up on my bed rest and then this is the LED light and as you can see it is really bright so in this video I'm gonna show you how I um, try to reduce the light from this device for that uh, we're gonna make use of this little device and I bought this one of one on uh, so I bought this one on eBay and it was around one dollar two dollars I do not remember correctly and the idea is that you use this control knob to adjust the brightness and you hear the click that's uh, used as a switch button so it has um, these kind of outputs uh, input outputs and um, it is designed for 12 to 24 volts so that's interesting because this uh, little light actually works on 7 volts DC so as you can see this is the power supply from the LED from IKEA and as you can see it's 7 volts by 3 watts um, but I, I think that uh, this, this dimmer also works on, uh, on this light so we're gonna check out if it's uh, if I'm uh, so we're gonna check out if, uh, if it will work with the light so I'm putting back the power supply of the LED light as you can see now it still works and uh, I already opened the screws so I can also show you the inside and actually it's quite easy so this is the circuit and there you see the uh, potentiometer and when I turn this knob the potentiometer will uh, change its value and it's making use over there they say um, famous IC it is the NE555 and it's a, a really cheap IC but it's working for for um, for a lot of lot of different different uh, applications very well um, and if I remember correctly these devices work uh, around 5 volts still work around 5 volts so uh, I'm gonna put up uh, uh, I'm gonna hook up so I'm gonna hook up the LED light uh, as you can see on the PCB uh, there is a E min E plus meaning this is the input and there is a out min out, out plus meaning this is the output so I'm gonna remove these cables and put it back on the LED light so I'm gonna leave this original or well I can remove it actually that way the control knob will be here otherwise we put it over there or over here but this is not enough wiring so we can put it like this but then you have two buttons and also this one to control the light so I think the easiest one is to um, to open up this switch let's get a screwdriver and see if I'm gonna pry it open so there's actually no uh, screws on this uh, switch so probably it's put together with a click there it is. it's going and now I'm gonna go and try the other side there's a big chance when I'm doing this uh, I will dis I will damage the cable but I don't mind I can cut some things from the cable so this is the switch actually and this is 7 volt so it's safe to touch no worries there it's still enabled I didn't uh, remove the power supply so this is the switch I'm gonna cut it over here and over here and then uh, attach it to the to the dimmer so now I'm gonna remove the power supply 
as you can see it's now off and uh, it's not, not really for safety but there's a possibility when I'm gonna cut it with the uh, cutter that uh, I will make a short circuit between those wires so I'm gonna cut it over here and cut this one over here so now I have to remember that I keep the polarity right so on the cable maybe it's not easy to see but I will zoom in a little bit you can see there is a marking and uh, the one that's marked is attached to the uh, switch so I'm gonna remember that because we have to keep the plus and minus on the same side so I'm gonna use my nails to open uh, those uh, cables so my stripper isn't nearby here so I'm gonna use the cutter to remove the copper wires so I'm just gonna use the cutter and slightly uh, press it and then uh, well a little bit more pressure so now it's open and I will apply some solder to it and that is because if I apply solder to it those wires, those copper wires will stick together when, um, when I'm working with it so a little bit well I think it's lead in English a little bit lead on the wires also on the other side so I love this smoke always so that's a little bit soldering then I'm gonna do the other side from the LED lamp exactly the same so and twist the copper wires a little bit so they will stick together and then again apply some soldering to the wires There it goes. Also the other one. So that's done. And now we're gonna check for what is the plus and minus. So I have a feeling that uh, the one with the sign will be the plus. But we need a multimeter for that. Let's zoom out a little bit. I'm gonna grab my multimeter. And now I set the millimeter to measuring voltage. So this is voltage. And maybe I have to twist it so you can see it. And now <coughs> I'm gonna put back the power supply in the wall. <coughs> and now I'm gonna check what it's saying, how many volts I'm measuring. So what it's saying now, the millimeter is that the polarity is reversed to my connection so if I twist the cable now it's correct you can see that because there is no minus over there so if I rotate this you see a minus coming in front of the meter here you have it a minus so rotate it back and so you can see it's 6.9 volts meaning that this wire is the plus one and this is the minus so I'm going to remove the power supply again. So indeed the one with the marking is indeed uh, the plus sign. So now I'm going to go back to the dimmer and I will remove the wires by doing it like this. Heating it a little bit, as you can see it's gonna break loose already. So, that was one part. And now also for the output. Let's remove those wires. And put back the power supply first so I'm gonna put the power supply in my left hand 
to the input and the one with the sign is the plus so I'm gonna attach uh, the wires to the plus again let's see that should be ah, that is a little bit difficult with one hand so maybe I can put it like this but then you can show it really well so maybe this is a better view for you so I'm gonna hit up the PCB pad so that's one and then now I'm gonna do the other side heat it up again wait some seconds so this one is uh, attached correctly and now I'm gonna attach the other side so these wires let me check this is the one with uh, the markings I'm not sure if you can see it so the one with the markings have to go over here so getting you back in the image So the minus. So something like this. And now I'm uh, wondering, wondering if it, uh, it if it will work. Let's uh, check it out. to zoom out a little bit and now you can see out and a little bit brighter so start from here so all the way to the top and now it's nice and dimming very properly so uh, it's like this maybe I should uh, kept the switch so I could put this on a fixed level and then adjust it later on because now I have to turn it off like this and um, well actually it just uh, works fine so now I'm gonna put back the wires but it's important that you put some kind of um, like a tie rip or something that if you pull this cable you won't pull it from the PCB so I'm gonna put up a tie rip over there It's just a small one, that's fine. Put this one over here. Put a little bit of the wire inside. So, to make sure that the PCB don't... Uh, that the wires are not pulled from the PCB. cut away this part so when I'm putting back the uh, top part you can see that the wire is locked by the tie rip I'm gonna do the same for the other side and first put a little bit the wire inside also on this one this same side So that's fine. And now let's try to put back the cover. the screws so yes here I have them put it back and the other 
the sign. So it's closed. Have a look at that. So now I have an awesome dimmable LED light off, on, and make it brighter just as you want. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna read books again in the night. Well, thanks for watching. I hope uh, you like these, well, actually, very simple videos, but maybe for someone it could be helpful. Um, if you like the video, please uh, give me a thumbs up on the video and uh, that's keep me uh, keep me going to make more of these kind of uh, projects. Well, see you next time. Bye bye.